Hi everyone, this is Ronnie Goboom, and I'm on Choicecraft Factions, and I'm about to showcase a maze that I made a while ago. This is a nice little easter egg of the server, um, and actually a while back, some of the admins and mods gave me creative permission to make a little maze at spawn. So, while I was making the maze, I made this silly little hedge maze. That could be fun if, if you want to spend two minutes just to go through and see if you can reach the completion. And I'll just fly up and <laughs> just give you a little showcase. Hint, hint. You want to go that way. The lift sign is at the end over there, and that's the object you go in here. Um, I have a bunch of new players that wanted to be in the video, <laughs> so shout out to them for helping me out with the video. Um, and I'm going to show them my maze. Now, this right here is my maze build. Okay, going in the maze. And what you do to enter the maze is you just come up to this pressure plate you come into this building right here now the first challenge is to find the maze and I'll show you how to get in what you do is you just come up this staircase you come over here at the top and then you jump down looks kinda scary huh and I don't see any water at the bottom oh well we'll do it anyway Oh, oh, it's a trick. I actually put um, a bunch of cobwebs at the bottom <laughs> so you, you don't die. And here I have some credits to who made the maze and who helped me. All these noobs are going to help me showcase this maze. And what you do is you just hit this little button, and drop down, and then we enter this room. And there is an exit here on the north side. There's an exit on the south side, exit west that goes up, and exit east. Sorry, an exit west that goes down, and an exit east that goes up. And these all lead to different pathways, and the object is to get to the final room. And you'll know when you're in it. Um, it's like a glass lava room, and it says, congratulations, you've won. Um, eventually, it'll lead to new sections of the maze. Now, at this point, if you'd like to challenge yourself and try and solve this difficult maze by yourself, and honestly, if there aren't other people in the maze, it'll take you about 20 minutes. Um, but if you'd like to challenge yourself and try and figure it out, uh, I would suggest that you don't watch this video anymore. Just turn it off, come to Choicecraft Factions, and I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Come to Choicecraft Factions and try this difficult maze for yourself. Now, I, have, I had a lot of help making this maze. Heartscraft did a lot of the design things, like he gave me this idea for stairs and the pillars. Um, Brygoth helped me with a lot of the lighting. It was my idea to do <laughs> fire lighting for the whole thing, but it actually took me a long time. So Brian helped me out with that. He helped me with some of the design from not starting now. Yeah, do the maze. Do the maze. Try to get to the lava room. And uh, I guess I'll make a new video, and in the link to that video, I'll show you how to complete this maze. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please leave this video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Click the link to the left to get to the factions webpage, or click the link to the right to get to the next video if you'd like to see a little hint on the maze. If you don't want to click either of the links, here's some footage of some new players trying to make an attempt at Factions PvP. So, I came to view this as a mod, because Lyrex accused this guy that's raiding him, Jack Rocks, of hacking. Um, so I'm vanished right now, they can't see me. But I thought I would stick around and see if there's actually some hacking going around. Going on. Uh, it would appear... Looks like Jack Rocks claimed this land legitimately from them. And their axe just keeps coming. There's no way he's gonna beat him. <laughs> oh, Jack Rocks has the upper hand, he's got good bow, he's got good gear, and their axe. Their axe is my friend. 
that was not a smart decision. And they're gonna keep coming after him until he dies. So I'll just sit here and observe this bow battle and watch the Lyrax <laughs> running back and forth trying to dodge those. Oh, they nice shot Jax. And here comes Garen's trying to do the same thing. <laughs> maybe, maybe with Garen's unarm skill, he'll be able to make Jack Rocks drop his bow. Unlikely, but possible. Garen's died. <laughs> Lyrax. <laughs> Lyrax has an even higher unarmed skill. If Lyrax is smart, he'll try and make him drop that sword. And then he'll run off and destroy it. <laughs> Better yet, he'll try and just get him to drop that bow. This is funny. Nice little PvP action. Jack Rocks totally is crushing them. Oh, Garen's might come here to double team him, and they'll get some good hits off. But he's probably just gonna shoot Garen's right away. Oh. Lyrax got shot, and Garen's is about to be next. Oh, nice. Very nice. Garen's got some hits in. Maybe this guy isn't as good with a bow as he needs to be. <laughs> Looks like he's got a knockback sword, because Garen's is getting knocked around. Hit him! Oh wow, Lyrax! <laughs> Lyrax just juked him and didn't put a hit on. You notice it's a little bit laggy. Uh, that's because I'm screen recording. And also because I have Skype and live map open. I'm rendering a video. But it's not too bad. This is certainly fun to watch. See, I, I don't see any hacks. The only reason I'm here as a mod is to check and see if Jack Rocks is hacking, but it looks pretty legitimate to me. Why? Why ho? Why ho, Lyrax? <laughs> oh, that's funny. They just keep coming. <laughs> keep coming. Surprise, Jax doesn't have more heads. Jax is just gonna wait for him. I'm surprised Jax just doesn't make a nuke tower. Sit up an inch, snipe from up top. Like you guys are gonna have to rebuild. 